guests, students, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the staff of Burt Church High School, we welcome you to our 36th annual awards ceremony. This year, we are pleased to have Madison Abar and Charlie Frost as our MCs for the evening. Now we will have Burt Church High School alumni, Aubrey Nye, sing O Canada. O Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in our sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land, glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard to honor students who have shown dedication and perseverance in making the most of their education. While all students excel and experience success in their own unique ways, this evening is dedicated to those who have achieved academic excellence or have demonstrated strong community and leadership service. Burt Church High School gratefully acknowledges the support of the following individuals, businesses, and organizations. Airdrie Professional Firefighters Association, Airdrie Knights of Columbus, Burt Church staff, Burt Church Theatre, Frank Pohl Memorial Scholarship Fund, Governor General of Canada, Kin Club of Airdrie, Merit Contractors, Mr. Keith Volman, Platinum Photography, Rob Snow Frills, Rocky View Teachers Local 35, Schulich Leadership Scholarship Fund, University of Toronto National Book Award. Financially, without the help of these individuals, we would not be able to give gifts to help students with their post-secondary endeavors. We at Burt Church give our heartfelt thanks. We would now like to welcome to the podium our principal, Mr. Ryan Reed, to welcome you to our awards ceremony. Parents, staff, and students, welcome to our annual Burt Church High School Awards evening. Though we are hosting our event virtually, it does not diminish the tremendous accomplishment of our students. Throughout the evening, you will hear of students being tremendous citizens, learners, and representatives of Burt Church High School. We are so proud of all that they have accomplished and realize that this is a team effort. To all the parents who have sacrificed your time and efforts to support, we thank you. Staff, we so appreciate all the hours you've put into seeing our students achieve their goals. And students, we are consistently humbled by your hard work and dedication to learning. Keep it up. Congratulations to all of our winners on your accomplishments. We're proud of you, and we look forward to working with some of you in the future. We hope that you enjoy the award ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reed. We would like to call upon Ms. Jans to present the next award, the Sky McGowan Memorial English 30-1 and English 30-2 Awards. The Sky McGowan Award is given annually to the top student in both English 30-1 and 30-2. It is named after Sky McGowan, who taught at Burt Church from 1998 until his untimely passing in the summer of 2010. The top student for English 30 goes to Denethi Vudelich, and the top student for English 30-2 is Alexa Feener. Thank you, Ms. Jans. Mr. Welsh will now present the Social Studies 30-1 and Social Studies 30-2 Awards. The award for top social studies 30-1 student for the 2019-2020 school year goes to Nicole Bushfield. The award for the top social studies 30-2 award for the 2019-2020 school year goes to Sorian Mwafo Medan. Thank you, Mr. Welsh. Ms. Weijo will be presenting the Math 30 awards. Uh, I would like to present this year's Mathematics Awards. Uh, the Mathematics 30-1 Award uh, goes to Liam Wong. The Mathematics 30-2 Award goes to Jordan Gagnon. The Mathematics 30-3 Award goes to Krista Rhodes. And the Mathematics 31 Award 
goes to Daniti Mudalaj. Thank you, Ms. Weigel. Ms. King will be presenting the Science 30 Awards. The Top Chemistry 30 Student Award goes to Daniti Mudalaj. The Top Physics 30 Student Award goes to J.T. Luderbach. The Top Biology 30 Student Award goes to Daniti Mudalaj. The Top Science 30 Student Award goes to William Galea. Thank you, Ms. King. Mr. Burns will be presenting the French 30 Award, the German 30 Award, the Audio Video 30 Award, as well as the Photography 30 Award. Hi, guys. Uh, the French 30 Award. Uh, la personne qui a gagné le prix de France et c'est Sam Arnold. German 30 Award, which is sponsored by Mr. Keith Bowman. Der Schüler, also dieses Jahr den Preis für Deutsch 30 gewonnen hat, ist Jordan Gagnon. Audio video, audio video 30, the award goes to Evelina Jaworski. Photography 30, this award goes to Madison Hughes. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Mr. Goodyear will be presenting the Drama 30 Award. This year's Drama 30 Award goes to Sydney Brown. Thank you, Mr. Goodyear. Ms. Schroeder will be presenting the Music 30 Award, the Art 30 Award, and the Cosmetology 30 Award. The Music 30 Award goes to Casey Arnett. The Art 30 Award is being presented to Dana Matt. Cosmetology 30 Award is presented to Guadalupe Mustader. Thank you, Ms. Schroeder. Ms. Chapman will be presenting the Culinary Arts 30 Award and the Foods 30 Award. The Culinary Arts 30 Award goes to Krista Rhodes. The Foods 30 Award goes to Keon Yabbitt. Thank you, Ms. Chapman. Mr. Ferguson will be presenting the Leadership 30 Award and the Physical Education 30 Award. The Leadership 30 Award goes to Gavin Bordnuck. The Physical Education 30 Award goes to Josh Crispin. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson. Mr. Pierce will be presenting the Construction 30 Awards. Thank you very much for inviting me to present the Construction Award at Birch Church High School for the 2019-2020 school year. The Merit Scholarship is given out to the outstanding woodworking student in grade 12 each year. This year, fortunately for me, I have two outstanding students, Zachary Wong and Riley Pochapsky. Great guys. Grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. Wonderful projects, great attitude, always willing to help. Just some great fellas. And so I'm proud, even though I already have announced their names, to announce that they are the winners of the Merit Scholarship for 2019-2020 at Bird Church High School. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. We would like to call upon Mrs. Cumberland to present the Frank Pohl Memorial Award. The Frank Pohl Memorial Award was established in 1986 for a grade 12 graduating student who is judged to be of high caliber in scholastic achievement and who has a desire for a career in agriculture. The award is for $1,000. This award goes to Sophia Brisbane. Sophia has been interested in agriculture since she was a little girl. She started working on a cattle farm at the age of 14 years old. She was involved in calving, vaccinations, castrating, as well as working in the fields, baling and driving heavy machinery. She has a love of riding horses and is especially passionate about her cows. Sophia is always willing to go and help out other farmers and learning different parts of the agricultural industry. Sophia is studying animal science with her major in animal foods at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. Congratulations, Sophia. Thank you, Ms. Cumberland. Mr. Castiglione will be presenting the Schulich Leadership Scholarship. The Schulich Leader Scholarship Award is open to a graduating high school student pursuing science, technology, engineering, or math. JT Luderbach was nominated for this prestigious scholarship. JT has been recognized as a nominee and his name will be displayed on the Schulich Leader plaque. Congratulations, JT. Thank you, Mr. Castiglione. Ms. Gow will be presenting the next award, the Jack Collette Award. 
This award is presented to the outstanding student in knowledge and employability courses and is named in honor of Jack Lett, a former superintendent of Rocky View Schools. He was a strong advocate for programs to meet the needs of all students. The recipient for the Jack Lett Award for Outstanding Knowledge and Employability Students goes to Michaela Hamill. Michaela consistently demonstrated the qualities of an outstanding knowledge and employability student throughout her high school career. She always arrived at school ready to learn and work hard and made excellent progresses each year. Her commendable efforts have served her well and will continue to do so in her very bright future. Congratulations, Michaela. Hey, everybody. Thank you, Ms. Gao. Ms. Weigel will now present the Tim Jackson Memorial Citizenship Award. I am proud to present the Tim Jackson Memorial Citizenship Award. The Tim Jackson Memorial Citizenship Award is sponsored by Airdrie Professional Firefighters. The award is presented to two students who have displayed positive acts of citizenship within the school. The criteria for this award are respect for others, volunteerism, trustworthiness, reliability, participation in school activities, positive character traits, hard work, and cooperation with school expectations. Each scholarship is worth $250. The recipients of the award this year are Boston Fluent and Alice Thwaites. Boston displayed many characteristics over his years here at Bird Church that exemplified good citizenship. As a student, he was always very respectful toward both his peers and his teachers. He was always willing to offer explanations to students if they didn't understand the topic at hand. Boston also took a special interest in helping students in the CSC and later learning support. He volunteered his spare block to helping ELL students become more comfortable speaking conversational English. Boston also spent many hours in the Fit Center, encouraging younger students and helping them reach their goals. Alice exemplified school spirit through her work with Students' Union and leadership during her time at Bird Church. She was always working to promote the positive aspects of this school, volunteering her time in a variety of capacities. While she was not an athlete, she often took time to support her peers at their various sporting events. Congratulations to our very deserving winners. Thank you, Ms. Weigel. Mr. McCreel will now present the University of Toronto National Book Award along with the grade nine highest academic average. The University of Toronto National Book Award program recognizes and rewards the very best Canadian secondary school students, regardless of which university those students choose to attend. These are students who demonstrate superior academic performance, original and creative thought, and exceptional achievement in a broad context. They excel in academic pursuits, demonstrate enthusiasm for an intellectual, intellectual exploration, and have a strong involvement in the lives of their schools and communities. It is not necessary that the student intends to apply to admission to the University of Toronto. Award recipients receive a National Book Award recognizing their achievements and as a symbol of their academic potential. It is not a monetary award. The award goes to Grace Rusk. The grade nine award for highest academic average goes to Sarah Dolan. Dedicated to mastery, problem solving, critical thinking, and the ability to grasp big ideas, Sarah has time in and time out displayed these attributes in the classroom. Daily, Sarah listens attentively and considers ideas from different perspectives. Sarah has taken those ideas and successfully applied them to a variety of problems, finding connections to other ideas along the way. But above all, and amidst her academic achievements, Sarah is extremely respectful and is a wonderful student to have at Bird Church High School. Congratulations on earning this great achievement and know that it is a true testament to the work you put in each day. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you, Mr. McCreel. Mr. Castiglione will now present the Grade 10 Award for Highest Academic Average. This year, the Grade 10 Award for Highest Academic Average goes to Dylan Motway. Dylan is an engaged learner who helps build, build positive classroom culture by leading class discussions and improving the experience of his classmates with purposeful and thought-provoking questions. Dylan finds success in the classroom all while putting in the many extra hours of his own time towards mastering the saxophone that he plays in, in both the concert band and the jazz band at Bird Church. Success is a result of hard work. 
Dylan has clearly demonstrated that through the effort he puts into everything he does and the success that he has earned. Congratulations, Dylan Motway, on having the highest academic average in grade 10. Thank you, Mr. Castleone. Mrs. Cumberland will now present the grade 11 award for the highest academic average. This year, the grade 11 award for highest academic average goes to Grace Rusk. It comes as no surprise that Grace has achieved the highest academic average during her grade 11 year. Polite and endlessly kind, Grace possesses an infectious zeal for learning that pushes her far beyond the expectations her teachers set for her, seeing her achieve exemplary academic results. She is also wonderfully creative, evident in her compelling contributions to drama and creative writing. We congratulate Grace on her achievements and look forward to how she will direct her considerable talents this year. Thank you, Mrs. Cumberland. Ms. King will now present the Grade 12 Awards. Each year, we present awards to the top three academic students in the Grade 12 graduating class. The third highest academic student in Grade 12 is Sam Arnold. The second highest academic student in Grade 12 is J.T. Luderbach. The recipient of this year's top Grade 12 academic average is so deserving. She was a vibrant and joyful member of our school and balanced her academic fierceness with a compassionate and generous soul. She maintained an impeccable academic record across all subjects while at Burt Church and did so while participating in band, athletics, working as a lifeguard, and volunteering in the community. When classes transitioned online during the quarantine, she didn't miss a beat. She was always striving to do her very best and could be counted on to put in the extra effort. She's going to do amazing things in the medical field with her wickedly clever brain, which is only matched by the huge size of her heart and the brightness of her smile. I'm so incredibly privileged to be able to present this award to Denithi Mutilich. Thank you, Ms. King. Mr. Reed will now present the Governor General's Academic Medal. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic average. On behalf of Her Excellency, the Right Honorable Julie Payette, Governor General of Canada, I am pleased to announce that the academic medal will be going to Denithi Mudelich. Thank you, Mr. Reed. This evening could not be possible without the efforts of many dedicated people. We would like to thank our office staff, Mrs. Chadwick, Mrs. Allen, Ms. Bryant, Mrs. McCracken, and Mrs. Toomey for their countless hours in preparing everything for this evening. We would also like to thank our student and staff volunteers. There are many other people who have assisted in tonight's ceremony, and we, and we say thank you. This concludes the presentation of awards for 2019-20 school year. We'd like to thank you all for watching.